folks, and welcome back to Patia. Today is Black Friday. It's about 10.30 in the morning. I've, I, Black Friday, by the way, is, I don't know if they have it where you live or not, but in the U.S., it's like the second day of a four-day weekend. And historically, a lot of the stores and, and vendors, marketeers, they put a lot of things on sale, so it's a popular shopping day. I guess in spirit of that, I've come down here to the Tucom today. Tucom's like an electronics mall here in South Patia. And although Black Friday isn't really a full-fledged thing here, there are people that recognize it and have specials, promotions, sales, etc. So we'll see. I need a couple things. I'm out shopping today for a couple things. A new computer for one and a cell phone for a second. But anyway, we're going to start here at Tucom. We'll go in there and I've made a list of all the parts that I want for the computer. We'll see what they say. It really feels like Black Friday here. The whole there was hardly anywhere to park the bike, and I brought the little skinny bike. <laughs> it still had to be jammed in somewhere. Um, it's crowded, but up here on the third floor, this is where the computer stuff is. Cell phones, I think, are second floor, or whatever. And there's a, a Dunkin' Donuts on the first floor. They got the Christmas donuts out already, which is appropriate. It's after Thanksgiving now. Uh, but anyway, I've come here to IT City. IT City. Now, the way I approached this for a new PC. This is just the way I did mine. I went and I, I kind of looked. There's a lot of guys on YouTube building computers telling you what's kind of good for a budget, certain budget. And I decided what all parts I wanted. I got on Lazada. I looked for all those parts. Lazada, of course, is like Amazon here. You can buy just about anything. I got prices on all those exact parts, made sure they're available here. Then I brought that list and gave it to them. So this is all the parts that I want. And pretty much they had everything exact. A couple small differences but I need multiple drives because I do video editing uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM I won't bore you with all the all the uh, computer jargon I, I'll put it on the screen on the side here all the specs of it but uh, all this together is gonna be right around 40,000 baht which is the price I got on just the parts uh, comes with Windows 11 it's like 3,000 baht just for Windows 11 so that's close to a hundred dollars just for a licensed copy of Windows 11 you gotta watch that sometimes they give you, they think they're doing you a favor by giving you a free copy, but then you, you, sometimes if you don't have the right code or whatever, they can shut your computer down. Anyway, it's just better to get the licensed copy. And here's the, here's the big thing. We picked out all the parts, dickered around with all that, with the price and everything. And then they said, that'll be ready in about an hour. <laughs> so I thought it would be two or three days, about an hour. So we'll go get something to eat and we'll come back. And maybe by that time, they're mostly done building them. We'll watch them build the rest of it and sashay out the door with a brand new PC. So 40,000 baht, I'll put the exchange rate for that today. It's going to be a little over 1,000 maybe. Uh, I don't know. I'll put the exact thing down. I'm thinking about 1,002, 1,300, which I, the, PC, the PC I have now that's seven years old, that's kind of comparable in spec back then, was I think 1,150 or 1,200 in the U.S. at Best Buy. So... Uh, here again, this is the latest, greatest thing. This is the new, it's much more powerful, but probably not the top end, probably a medium high end PC. I think that's probably about what you'd pay there. Depending on where you live, some of the parts may be more here, some of the parts may be less. Uh, video cards seem to have gone down sharply recently. Got a 16 gigabyte video RAM. That's going to be huge because that's double what I have now. Anyway. Get all this packaged up, go get something to eat, and then we'll come back. So a couple little changes at the last minute. I decided to go bigger on the drives, up to two terabytes each. I'll put all the specs here, the final the final build up on the screen for you. I also noticed the, the memory they were giving me wasn't the right one. It was DDR4. I wanted DDR5. So that was more money. The drive, the bigger drives were more money. And I didn't realize the Windows operating system I had to buy from the guy who, would, who basically is building the computer from his shop. So anyway, long story short, by the time I got out of there, it wasn't 40,000, it was closer to 50,000, but still, I got everything I wanted and more, and really quick service, much quicker than what I expected. Anyway, let's go get something to eat.
So a few steps right outside of the Tucum Mall, we found Casa de Kebab. Casa de Kebab, I believe, I believe this is a newer place. I don't remember seeing this last time I was down here. I also believe it might be a franchise. There may be one near you somewhere. But basically, kebabs, that type of thing from around the world, that includes tacos, a uh, little different sandwiches, different bread. So that's kind of the theme of the place and something different. So I thought, we uh, thought we'd try some of that. I got one of the spicy Turkish kebabs and a couple tacos tacos there. We'll just share all this. I don't know how I feel about the white sauce on a taco, but they were actually pretty good. I like the pulled meats, not the ground beef or minced beef. It's it's a pulled steak, and it was quite it was quite good, quite flavorful. The only thing I would say is, when I was ordering, they were very specific about spiciness, and given the, I don't know, the flames coming off the tacos and the explosions on the pictures and <laughs> all these uh, kind of things indicating that maybe it would be very spicy, I didn't find Find it very spicy at all, but it was still good, and Lon seemed to like it, so that was that was important. But I tell you, it, it lies in in quite a contrast from our meal yesterday. Yesterday, of course, was American Thanksgiving Day. We went out here to the Route 66 Diner. This is generally my preferred location for Thanksgiving Day meal. We'll see what's in here. Oh, that's the gravy. That'll be for later. Anyway, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but they always put on quite a nice spread, and I think given the price, I believe it was $8.95. Uh, and the quality of the food, like the pumpkin soup, I really love that. I think it's one of the better choices, but I, uh, I loaded up. They got big plates here. I only needed one plate. Got asparagus casserole, cauliflower, of course, cranberry, turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, all smothered in gravy. So quite a Thanksgiving feast out here for Thanksgiving. I chose the 12 p.m. sitting rather than the 3 p.m. or 6 p.m. I think those are generally bigger, uh, busier, but the... Nice desserts as well, pumpkin pie, apple pie. Somebody couldn't finish all of theirs and took theirs home. But uh, anyway, the, the Route 66 Diner never disappoints. But let's go back and check in on that computer, see how that's doing. So when we got back from lunch, the assembly was in full swing here, and they were just about getting everything buttoned up. Now, there would still be the operating system to install other software, lots of drivers for the various hardware. So they still got some work cut out for them. While they do that, I thought we would go and get a head start on the new cell phone by visiting Central Festival. Yeah, that might have been a mistake on this day. I, I got to tell you, it definitely felt like Black Friday in here. Hardly a place to park even a motorbike. Just crazier than I've ever seen it. And I will get more into that later because this weekend, the real reason isn't really to do with Black Friday. It's the fireworks festival in town. So that's what's bringing everybody here. The, the, the parking garage is full and there's plenty of people in the mall as well. But I think most of them maybe are out in the beach because the mall Jeff definitely did not mirror the the full parking lot. But anyway, we'll go upstairs and uh, visit this store here for a new iPhone. So the iPhone 15 now has been out for, I don't know, a month or two. So all the hubbub and hype is probably done. I can probably walk right up and upgrade my phone. I, I, I skipped a generation. I'm currently on the iPhone 13, the 13 Pro, and I hope to get the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So we'll go in and we'll see, see how this whole thing's gonna go. <laughs> so, came to Central Festival to get a new iPhone. Now, there, there's authorized resellers. I, I, I choose this one seven, this one that's called Seven, uh, Seven Studio. Um, there's not really an Apple store here in Pattaya, but they're an authorized reseller. It's just like an Apple store. But I didn't really think this through. First of all, they had to keep my phone for like over an hour. I didn't have any phone <laughs> at all. And I'm still waiting for the computer to get finished. I can't even call that guy. <laughs> and then the new phone, takes a different wire. It has a USB-C connection instead of the old Apple connection. So I really can't even use the new phone right now. I'm still talking to you on the old phone. So anyway, it's all done. Uh, we'll go outside. There's a whole big brouhaha going on here for the fireworks thing. They're setting up all kind of stuff vendors. I can at least take some video with the new phone, try it out. So we'll see how that works. Then we'll go back and get the computer because that's still working. It's too much all in one day. I'm probably going to have to set all this up tomorrow.
doing just a quick look around Beach Road using the new phone. It looks pretty good. The video seems nice and smooth. Uh, can't use it for things like this because I need that wire uh, just for the face of the camera bits. But anyway, I didn't really think this through. I just wanted to go out and get everything done today. And uh, it's going to be a long day and an expensive day. <laughs> But new iPhone, new computer, we got to go back, see if the computer's done. The other thing is I might have them put a USB-C jack on the front of that computer, given the new iPhone has a USB-C cable. So I think the one from Apple's better than just a, an old junky one. So we'll go back and try to address that. But this is going to be the fireworks down here tonight, uh, Friday night, Saturday night. I even was woken by fireworks last night on Thursday night. So I don't know what they were doing, but I heard fireworks and woke up last night probably around midnight and tonight's going to be a big but we've got a special thing to go to for tomorrow night just for the fireworks and it's supposed to be a dinner from a hotel rooftop so that should be nice we'll look at that next time anyway let's just finish off all this uh, shopping today go home and get everything all set up i got a lot of work to do when i get home the ride back at Tucom. they had finished everything while i was at central festival getting the new iphone there it is all lit up so they, they test it for you they show you everything on the screen before you leave so you're satisfied all the components that you bought and paid for are actually the components that are in there but i can actually see right into the case there and verify that so everything looked good now and then there's the then there's the uh, fact of getting it home. Uh, I didn't want Lon to ride on the back of the motorbike with the computer in her hand. So well, I just thought it'd be better if she took a taxi home. I'll ride the bike home. But the guy even carried it out for us. Look at this. Carried it right out here to where we can get a taxi on Patiatai. Uh, Lon called for her taxi. And then that would be it. A trip back home. She did go out that later that evening while I was home setting everything up. Uh, she just went out on Pratamnak Hill here. Uh, one of the viewpoints. One of the many viewpoints here Pratamnak up by the Big Buddha and took some footage of the fireworks. I thought it was a good vantage point there wherever she went but next time we'll take a look at the fireworks from right downtown. I gotta warn you it is bedlam here right now. There's postings all over social media last night about uh, the craziness going on, it, the traffic, the amount of people. It is total bedlam but anyway we will experience that firsthand on saturday night hope you enjoyed the episode expensive day here in patia almost a hundred thousand bot spent next time there'll be something else but for this one gotta leave it off right here and as usual i'll thank you for watching and until next time bye for now